for joining me today on Christine's Awesome Things. And today I'm going to talk about and show you how to germinate milkweed plants. Milkweed plants are beneficial to monarch butterflies, but they also attract um, pollinators like bees and butterflies to help pollinate your fruits and vegetable plants. Milkweed plants are also per perennial plants, so they come back every year as long as you're taking care of them. Milkweed plants are also what monarch butterflies need to reproduce. Unfortunately, here in Michigan, I'm not sure if monarch butterflies would reproduce on milkweed plants that we grow simply because uh, monarch butterflies reproduce and lay their eggs between March and April. And out here in Michigan, where I live, it's still pretty cold, so I'm not really sure about that. But they're beautiful plants, they're attractive colors, they attract other in insects that will help to pollinate your garden. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'm going to show you how to germinate milkweed plants. So the first thing you want to know about germinating milkweed seeds is that they have to go through a process called stratification. Stratification is when they have to experience cold, then warm. The cold, then the warm helps to bring them out of their natural dormancy. When planting the milkweed seeds, you want to make sure that your soil is pre-moistened, but not saturated. Then you're going to plant it at a depth of one fourth inch into the soil. Next, you're going to either wrap it in plastic, or place it inside of a Ziploc bag. If you're doing a full tray of milkweed seeds, you can simply use the dome that the uh, container comes with and cover it up. Next, you're going to refrigerate it for two to four weeks. That starts the first process of the cold stratification. Once your plants has been refrigerated for uh, two to four weeks, you're going to take them out of your refrigerator. If it's wrapped in plastic, like um, clean wrap, you're going to loosen that plastic just a little bit. If it's in a Ziploc bag, you're going to open that Ziploc bag just a bit so that your plant can get some air. Just a little bit, not completely. Then you're going to place it under grow lights. Milkweed seeds need light to germinate, okay? So place them under your grow lights and on a heat mat. They also need heat. Place your seeds on a heat mat and under grow lights. For milkweed plants, unlike other uh, fruits and vegetable plants, Fruits and vegetable plants only need heat and moisture to start the germination process. Once it's germinated, um, you cut on your grow lights or um, if they're outdoors, of course, they would get their, the light that they need. But if you're growing your plants indoors and your uh, seeds start to germinate, they're going to, of course, need to uh, be able to have access to some type of lights, which is where grow lights come in handy. For um, milkweed plants, you have to germinate them under light. So a warm, sunny place that's getting at least six hours of light is good. Grow lights and heat plants work excellent for growing um, milkweed plants. So when you take them out of the refrigerator and you place them under your, your grow lights and heat lamp and, and heat pads, make sure that they're getting at least six to eight hours under the grow lamps. Milkweed need that light to germinate. Once the process is done, of course, again, they will look like this. Once the weather has, um, come up to where it needs to be, the last frost and everything, you can transfer them outdoors. You have to have your milkweed plants in a well-drained, of course, well-drained for all plants, but it also needs to be somewhere where it's 
full sun. So make sure you pick a sunny location and away from any other animals um, and definitely children. You don't want them putting um, milkweed plants in their mouths because milkweed plants are poisonous in large quantities. But again, it's beneficial for attracting pollinators. You want to make sure that you keep your transplanted milkweed plants uh, well watered but not saturated. And they're great. They're great. They're beautiful. They make your garden attractive. You can use them as borders. Just plant them in, in different areas. You can plant them in your garden to attract um, bees and but butterflies to help pollinate your plants. But when you're doing milkweed seeds to germinate, you want to start early because again, you have to cold stratify. This has been Christine of Christine's Awesome Things and I'll see you again.